What is up, my friends? My name is Echo. Today I have Chisco back on the channel, and we're going to be doing the talent tree for Caesar. Chiskool, it's been a little while since I've had you on the channel, but I'm stoked to have you back, man. And I'm really excited that, first of all, I picked up Julius Caesar, and second, that you're going to be here to help me build the talent tree. Thanks for coming down. How you doing today, man? Doing really well. Thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to work on Julius Caesar with you. Yes, I am too, especially because I know that you could definitely help me build Julius Caesar better than I could do it myself. Um, so, first of all, I want to let everyone know that Chiskool has his own YouTube channel, also focused on Rise of Civilizations. If you want to check in the description below, there'll be a link to his channel. You guys can go check him out and show him some love as well. Also, if you do like Rise of Civilizations, sub the channel for daily videos. And remember, this is sponsored by Rise of Civilizations. So, where are we starting here, Chiskool? I have one skill that I could add, 19 talent points. Where are we going to begin? So I think the first thing we want to talk about before we even assign the points is just a quick look at the skills. And we're not going to read them all, but I want you to just tap into the third skill, which looks like a little tower. Mm -hmm. And this one is really good for sieging enemy cities. Okay. Now, if that is not a thing that you're planning to do right away, I would not level up Caesar uh, to unlock the skill until you've maxed out the first skill. And if you pull that one up, it looks like the guy holding the flag. Yep. So this one increases your attack and defense by an upwards of 20% and gives you a damage bonus of 30%, mm -hmm. which means if you pair this uh, commander with someone else as the secondary that does a lot of damage, like Minamoto, who's really popular, yes. their nuke is going to get super boosted, and that seems really strong. So I would try to max out that first skill but go we before we go further. So with that said, I'm going to use this one upgrade here, and it's probably going to go towards the second skill because I went against the rules, and I added a star before upgrading the first to the max. Just knowing my luck, man. You know, uh, if it goes to the second skill, that's not the end of the world. It's no. a pretty good skill. Okay, it's not. So why don't we actually jump right now and use that first, that um, that upgrade? Is that a good idea? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Crossing fingers. I mean, I, I mean, I'm open for you. <laughs> we'll see what we could get. I know how this has gone in the past, man, but we'll see how it Dude, goes right now. Been, your luck has been so bad. <laughs> and it continues. I mean, I did have a great chest opening, which I know you saw, where I pulled two Julius Caesars and a Frederick out of 50 chests. So that's where the luck is going to end right there. I can actually do another one right here, right? Another, I mean, yeah, may as well do another one. I'll cross my fingers, yeah. but you're we'll do it again. Don't cross your fingers this time. All right, man. I'm not just, crossing. There we go. I'm not <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, your the, luck is so bad. Everyone can just sit here and make fun of me because of how my luck always goes. Well, at least that's out of the way for now. Eventually, we'll that be able to get that done, it'll happen in time. But for now, we're gonna head over to the talent tree. And to be honest with you guys, I don't even know what Chiss School has in store for me. I'm not sure if we're going with leadership, conquering, or attack. I'm hearing this right now as you're hearing it right now. So give it to me, brother. What are we gonna do? All right, first up. We're just going to talk about the trees that are available, conquering, attack, and leadership. Now, this conquering tree I want to talk about first, because if you were sieging other players' cities, if you were attacking other players, I think this tree is really, really strong. Mm -hmm. If you go all the way to the talent at the very end of the tree, which looks like a teardrop, yes. it, it decreases the number of troops that die in battle by an upwards of 10% when you're attacking wow. other players' cities. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't quite understand why this conquering tree is not more popular if you're leading rallies against other players' cities. But 10% fewer deaths, like that one alone, imagine the amount of resources in troop training and speed-ups that you're saving. So Yeah, that's a big deal. It, this tree isn't popular, and I'm not doing a ton of sieging myself. So I'm I'm not gonna we're not gonna touch that because I don't think that's your objective either. Ah, uh, you're right. I, I think that your objective, and keep me honest, is to be stronger in open field combat. Yes, that's exactly it. That's that's what I spend most of my time doing right now. Excellent. So let's talk about how you can be really really good at that. Mm -hmm. Now I really like Julius Caesar's first skill because it's making it so that you do more damage. Right. Um, it's also making you be a little more protective. So the first things that we want to do is pick things up to generate more rage so that you can use that skill more frequently. Okay, makes sense. So I would start in the attack tree. Okay, let's and do it. And there is a talent that looks like a skull that's on fire. Mm -hmm, the burning blood. It generates rage every time your commander's troops are attacked. You want to make your way to that talent. 
So you'll okay. need to get the first one in that tree, which is attack for all troops. Yes, sir. And then we're going to go then... to the three attack of all troops again. Yep. And then we have to go over to this sword, the Lord of War. Actually, the sword you don't need. Oh, okay. Skip the sword. I can go, go right go into Burning Blood. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. Perfect. And I'm going to get all three into Burning Blood. So we're here burning that skull the way you wanted me to. We almost made the mistake of going towards the Lord of War. Thank you for f correcting me before I made another mistake here. Now, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but the reason we're not taking it, and this is worth talking about, is that it increases uh, the attack by a factor multiplied by your commander's star level. Your commander's mm -hmm. not start up very much, nor right. do you plan to right now. So that would not be a particularly good talent for you at this time. Yeah, starring up Caesar is going to be another video, and I'll make sure I have you on for that one as well. Awesome. So let's go back to the leadership tree, where okay. we can find even more rage generation in a talent called Hidden Wrath. And it looks like two swords on a shield. It's two sort of swords. in the middle. Hidden Wrath. Yeah, so you like this rage generation. You seem to like that with all the commanders that you build. You like building rage. I'm a big fan. Look, if yeah. you can use those active skills more frequently, you can do work on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And I like to pair with commanders that generate more rage. So, for instance, Boudica is going to generate a lot of rage. And since Caesar can't do that, I think that's a strong combo. Gotcha. So in order to get Hidden Wrath, you'll have to get the attack at the base of the tree. Mm-hmm. Defense, two points. Got it. Three points into Hidden Wrath. Got it. And done. I would go one further mm -hmm. to grab the March speed. And that's going to be this one right here. Just the two March speed of all troops. Boom, boom. That leaves me with four talent points left. And this may be one of the first times I've built a talent tree on two different arms of the tree. So this is kind of exciting. Yeah, you know, we're, we're taking advantage of the talents, even though they're spread across other trees. And mm -hmm. it's worth mentioning that a part of the reason we're doing this is that we're not terribly interested in the talents at the top of either tree. Okay. So if you look at the crown, name of the king, mm -hmm. it increases uh, the amount of attack that your rallied army has. But you're not frequently leading rallies. Right. So this is not so important for you. And if you go down to the attack tree and look at the talent at the top of the tree, that's a skull, last stand. It makes it so that you have a chance to go on a rampage, which is kind of interesting. But when that happens, your skills cannot be applied and okay. your skills are really strong. So I don't know why you'd want ever to be in a situation that you're not using your skills. Okay. Maybe that's good for a, a blue commander or a green commander, but <laughs> this is a legendary. Not, yeah, that's exactly. not what we want. So this, it's really good to know, though, that you don't have to head down one path of the tree. You can spread it out and really utilize the talents that you're looking to grab to make that commander work the way you want. So good tips right here yeah. so far. So we've got a couple more points that can <clears throat> yeah. go in, and we want to make our way toward fresh recruits, which looks like a flag, and it's on the left side of the leadership tree. Okay, flesh. Yes, there we go. Fresh recruits. So we're going to go with two into the attack all troops again. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to only be able to put two into fresh recruits, increasing the maximum troops capacity by 1%, 2%. So we're at 2% right now. And that's all the points that we have right now for Caesar. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit further, and as you're leveling up before we make our next video together where you yes. star them up, you're going to want to make your way to the talent that looks sort of like a shield on the left side of the leadership tree. It's, it's one of the, yep, there it is, armored to the teeth. Okay, so that's going to be and the direction where we're heading once you get more points. Yes. You're ultimately creating a situation where Julius Caesar is strong with a mixed army. So you're going to want to bring different types of units to the party, but you get rewarded for doing so. Got you. Well, it's good that we have that. For the people that are watching this that may have a few extra points above me, they know the direction to go. So the tree is built. The skills are spent, unfortunately, not where I want them to be spent. And we're not going to be starring him up anymore like we said, until another video, any other tips or discussions you want to have before we close out for today? Yeah, you know, I'll just give a, a little bit more advice if you had more talent points. Um, mm -hmm. After you pick up Armored to the Teeth, the next one I'd make my way toward is in the upper right. It looks like a scroll with writing on it called Strategic Prowess. Okay, after that this... That is probably yeah. where I'd go next. So if you end up using your experience tomes, Echo, that's, that's where I would go after you finish up Armored to the Teeth. All right, and it looks like 
that's not too far away either. We're only uh, we're only talking about a couple of points away. So uh, the path has been set. We know the future of my Caesar. Uh, as long as there's no major nerf coming like we had uh, come to Joan of Arc after we built her, basically a few days later. But um, yeah, it looks great, man. So I'm feeling good about it. I can't wait to bring him into battle. I'm going to have to put out some videos seeing him in action as well because really I haven't used him too much. Now he's going to be a lead commander, correct? I'm not going to be bringing him behind someone. Well, if you want these talents to apply, he'll be the lead. Yes. Depending on how many armies you bring. So, for instance, if you're doing Expedition, mm -hmm. he might end up being the primary. And that seems more likely since he's low level. Right. Otherwise, you'd want to use him as the secondary. Okay. Well, that makes total sense. Thanks so much for coming down to the channel, man. Why don't you, for a second, just let everyone know what you do on your channel and maybe where they can find you so that uh, they can go check you out. Right on. On my channel, I put out daily rise of civilizations content we try to be on the bleeding edge of what's new and interesting mm -hmm. recently we've been focused on generating crazy amounts of rage and we've got some cool videos on that yes and how about social networks anything that you frequent or is it really just focused on your channel you know discord is the place to find me uh, i often frequent the rise of civilizations discord and i have my own personal uh discord uh identity on my youtube banner so if you come okay. to my channel you can find me. It's hanging out there. Well, thank you so much for coming down, man. It's always a great time having you and very valuable on top of it, both to me and to the community watching. So I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much. And for everyone else that was watching the video, I also have a Discord, which you can find. The link is over there as well as in the description below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, which is personally my favorite. And uh, that's been it for today, guys. I want to thank you for coming down. And I want to thank Chiss School for coming down. Remember, all my content is sponsored by G Fuel. Save 10% using code ECHO at gfuel.com. But I'm out of here, guys. Take care. See you next time and be good.